Welcome back to Cabin View Ventures. My name is Nick and thanks for joining me today. So today's video, I wanna talk about um, the one of the best methods I have found for protecting my wood structures from carpenter bees. So I live in a log house. I've got lots of sheds on the property. Um, carpenter bees are just a huge nuisance. They cause a lot of damage and you have to find a way to protect your wood structures from them. Now, before we get into that, I'm trying to get content out about once a week right now. Um, it's starting to turn, the weather is getting really nice. So, you know, hopefully I can get back to that two a week schedule. But for now, I'm trying to get at least once a, one a week out there. But uh, today it's, it's warm, it's dry. Uh, it's been windy the last couple days, so really good weather for drying out firewood. So we're finally making some good headway there. And in the next uh, day or two, I'm going to put a big dent into this big firewood pile behind me here. So, all right, back to today's video. So carpenter bees. Um, I, I grew up in a log house, so I have been fighting carpenter bees my whole life. And, you know, one of the one of the methods we always used was was the badminton racket. But last year I started using a new product and it worked really, really well. So let me show you guys what I have here. All right, here's my secret weapon, bee traps. These things work amazing. So last year is the first year I started using them. Um, I put mine up late. I put these up in June last year and I have two up on the house right now that I actually never took down. And then um, this is a trap I actually bought, uh, I don't know, a couple years ago, but I never, I never used it. So, um, you know, last year I finally decided to hang it up and I always thought they were kind of gimmicky and they, they really wouldn't work. But my mom put a bunch of these traps up in, I think, April or May last year. And she was collecting bees instantly. Now, she's in a log house that um, my dad had built back in 1984. So it's, a, it's an old log house. And, you know, you can imagine the amount of carpenter bees that have come and gone over that time period. So... Lots of bee holes, lots of carpenter bee activity. She's already got some right now. And, you know, getting carpenter bee activity in March is really early. Usually April is about the time of year it, it kicks off here in the Northeast. So, you know, once you get a good stretch of warm weather, they are out and about and looking for those old uh, bee nests to, to get back into. So that's where these guys come into play. Um, they they are attracted to these you can put bait in them i don't she doesn't either um they just go right into them you know it's it's easy they don't have to drill a hole they can just go right in they get trapped in there and they cannot get back out so the two different brands i have here and i prefer these over this um, i have had much more success with these houses um, than this one here and these are really easy to find um, i bought all of these from walmart and i think you can get them on amazon as well these i found on sale at the end of the season last year or sometime over the winter, I got these for $10 a piece. Um, normally they are $20 a piece. But these are um, Best Bee Trap, Carpenter Bee Trap by Best Bee Brothers. This one here is a Bees and Things Trap. Still works. You typically find these at Tractor Supply. You can also get these on Amazon. And then, like I said, these, um, I usually find them at Walmart or Amazon as well. So get them now. You know, if you've got wood structures, get these things. They work. You're actually going to be able to find some right now before people start to buy them up. Because, you know, mid-March, by in, in the next two or three weeks, 
you're really going to see a lot more carpenter bee activity and these things are going to start to fly off the shelf. So um, before I dig into the, well, here, let's, let's go over these real quick. Let me get you guys set up. All right, that should be a little bit better. So um, let me show you guys how these things work. I'll, I'll unbox this one. So I've got a total of uh, five, six, counting this one, and then seven and eight. So last year I had uh, seven of these up. I had one on the woodshed. I'm gonna put a second one on the woodshed, and then I'm gonna have um, uh, eight of them total on the house. So my house is uh, 20, 2100 square feet. So not not a huge house, but just so you have an idea of how many you might need, you might need, um, you know, to match the size of, of house that you have. So these things are really easy to set up. You know, it's a one-time purchase that's going to last you for years. You don't want to do anything to them. You, you don't want to stain these. You want to leave them with the natural finish. Um, that helps attract bees. Bees do not necessarily like stained finishes. So, you know, one of the things with any of your wood structures is you want to stain it. You know, put, put a good one or two coats of stain on there and preferably put a gloss uh, top coat on it. That gloss top coat gives the surface of, of the wood almost like a, a smooth or slippery finish on it and bees do not like that so that right there will help deter bees anyway you're still going to get some that are going to drill in especially if you have overhangs so if you have like shiplap or like my logs have a chinking groove that we did not fill in so that is just an easy place for them to drill straight up into the log. But these things come, they're, they're already put together. All you have to do is add the string to it. Um, this little insert inside where the, uh, the tube where the bees go into and get trapped, it is spring loaded. So when you put the string on it, you can just pull that from the ground to empty the traps when your traps do fill up be careful because you know if there are still live bees in there they'll just come out and fly away so you know make sure that none of them are alive in there before you open these traps up or have a way to open it and collect them if you did want to dispose of them somewhere else but so you just pull that little tube down into place make it nice and snug We'll untie the string here. These are pretty long too. Um, I think I measured them out last year and they were, I don't know, eight feet or something. And you can, you can add on to them. So I have, I have one trap that is actually pretty high up. They have a little clip that just snaps right on and then pull it to open it and clean it. On the top you've got a string on the roof to hang it from. The back is flat. You can also screw them in but I have found that um, a little cup, a little uh, cup hook. I like to use these. They're cheap. These are uh, 7 8 cup hooks. I just screw them in. They can stay in the log then. And I can take these down in the winter time to store them. So just to keep them a little bit nicer and make them last longer. You know, they're not expensive. But like I said, they're about $20 a piece. So... You know, I want to get as many seasons as I can out of these bee traps. But, you know, if you have um, if you have one that's really high up, they have a little hook, a little loop on the end. So you can easily add um, 
longer string right to this. So if you have one that's maybe two stories up, you can um, still be able to reach it from the ground to clean it out. So that way you're not putting your ladder up because I'm telling you, uh, you will fill these up and they fill up pretty quick. So you'll be, you'll be amazed at how many bees you actually collect in these things. One of the very first videos I did um, actually, I think it was my, my first video. My first two videos were on these bee traps and I was out at my mom's house and we were setting the traps up and we were going through like a week later and just counting up how many um, we had collected. And I think between five traps, we had almost a hundred carpenter bees. So, and, and she did that like three or four times last year. So it's amazing the number of these carpenter bees that you're going to collect and hopefully get rid of from your property. So, all right. Um, oh, this one here, you know, this guy, this, this trap box just screws on to the house and then it has a little door that you open up to clean it out. So um, a little more work into cleaning these out versus these, which is why I like these so much. And like I said, these just did a better job at collecting the bees. Now, if you get um, something that nests in there, like a bird or I don't know, anything else that might clog that house up, the roof just pops right off. So you've got four little pins that hold it in and you can clean the inside of that house out. So, and then that just snaps right back on. And if it gets loose over time, you know, you could just run a couple screws right down through it into the wood there and you'll be good to go. So um, let's hang this one up first because I have my ladder set up and this is actually the highest trap I have. So I have two strings that I, I had put on this one. So we will uh, check this one, make sure it's clear. Yep, that one's good. Let's head over to the house. All right, so we're going way up to the peak there. I'll tilt the camera up so you guys can see. This one might be a little tough because we're so far away. But if you've got, um, if you are, if you already have bee holes in your house, you want to make sure when you put these up, it's always good to put them where you've already got bees drilling in and nesting. But that hole that's already there, make sure that you plug it. So clean it out really good. Um, I like to just run a little piece of, of like electrical wire all through it. Make sure you get it cleaned out really nice. Um, I usually spray a little bee killer in there and then I plug it up. Um, I'll usually put a little bit of styrofoam, like that round half inch styrofoam, stuff that in there good and then plug it, um, you know, with some kind of uh, good caulking. So um, that's really important or else they could easily go right back into that old hole instead of the nest. So um, the, the idea behind that is you plug that hole up, they go to find that hole, they can't get into it, they go right into that nest, and, or right into that bee trap, and now you've got them captured. So, all right, I'm gonna tilt you up, so there we go. I am going right up. Oh, I can't even see my hand, it's so bright. Right up there. Come on. You want to go to the garden? No, you're 
and throw to them. Let's go to the garden. Get the weed whacker. All right, so let me show you that string. So my basement here, there's probably about six feet of wall right there. And then you've got another maybe 10 feet to the bottom of that trap window. So that one, 60, uh, it's probably about 18 feet up. And look at that, there's a carpenter bee up there right now buzzing around. I bet you he goes into that trap. But 18 feet up, and here's my string. It actually touches the ground. This one's actually a little, a little bit long. So those, uh, uh, I don't know. Those strings are actually uh, 10 feet. So they're they're really long strings that come with that kit, which is really nice. And then let me show you. You probably can't see that trap door, but I pull on it and it opens up. Right. So it's amazing. You get a couple warm days and those carpenter bees are out and about. I'm going to add one to this side. I didn't have one on this side last year. So I definitely want to get one up there. All right, so we got our hook, we got our bee trap. I'm gonna unwind the string down here. This one I'm not gonna add a string onto. It's only gonna be about eight feet off of the ground. So a little step ladder will easily be able to reach that one to clean it out. that there try to do this left-handed there we go once it bites they're really easy to put in just gonna ah. all right our bee trap and pull that down tight and good to go And then here it is. I can actually reach it. Ugh. So.
sure your string's not tangled. All right, so we got most of the traps up. I have one more to put up, but I have to do that one from inside the house. So a couple important things to remember. Um, sun exposure, number one. Whatever walls you get the most sun on is where you're gonna have most of your carpenter bee activity. They need that heat or they like that heat. So my, my back wall here um, and my one side wall is where I get the most carpenter bee activity. Um, I get a little bit out front, but not as much as this back and that one side. So let me uh, let me walk you around and show you. And then another thing is um, those hooks that I use and I, I just hang my traps. I've never had one of them come down in a storm. And two of them I left up all winter. So they were up all summer, all fall, all winter, and they were fine. So don't feel like you have to screw them in if you don't want to. Oh, let me go back. So right now I have two um, over here on those peaks, on the right, right, uh, right beside those trap windows. And then I'm gonna put one more up here on this dormer. As you can see, that gets a lot of sun. So really important to get one up there, but I'll do that one from inside. This side wall here. I just have that one up there. And then right around the corner, I didn't do a second one because right around the corner here, I've got another one up here. I've got that one on the porch. Get you out of the sun here. And then we've got another one ah, right up here. So plenty of, uh, plenty of traps on the front and the back of the house. The side has been good. Now this side here doesn't get any sun. So I have zero carpenter bee activity on this side of the house. So I'm not worried about putting a trap up there. One thing I forgot about is I wanted to get two for the deck. So they're also really good for decks. So I'd like to get one for each side of the deck over here. So I'll probably go out and get two more, get them up by the end of the month, and then we're gonna have everything ready to go. So hopefully, very minimal carpenter bee damage this year. We're not gonna totally eliminate it, but we're gonna get rid of, I bet 90% of it with those bee traps. All right guys, that's gonna wrap things up for today. Thanks for joining me. Get those bee traps up now. This is the perfect time of year to put them up and prevent as much carpenter bee damage as you can to all your wood structures. So any questions about them, please let me know and I will see you guys on the next one.